About to get the action kicking up once again in the B block. The last B block match of the evening, the blue collar rock star taking on Chris Del Rey. Bell Sounds and Murder One. Man, we have had such a phenomenal first round of the Savage 16 so far. I know you've had quite a lot of high praise for a lot of the competitors we've seen so far, but Aaron Dallas is somebody that we've seen quite a lot on SSP The Show on YouTube. And I've got to ask you, he has to be a favorite coming into this whole thing, right? Yes. issues between Aaron Dallas and Duncan Avasia the last time that we were in Sewanee, Georgia for SSP The Show. No Duncan Avasia in sight now. And yes, I mean, Aaron Dallas and, and really Dylan Lesson to a lesser extent because obviously, as you said, down since day one has been Aaron Dallas. Dylan Lesson has been popping up quite a lot in SSP over the last several months. But outside of that, we are seeing a lot of new faces here at the PCW Arena as a part of the Savage 16. You know, and, and I've got to say, we want to talk about that new crop of guys and that next generation. We saw his say, his new era stablemate, Matthew Mercer, earlier, but Chris Del Rey is another guy that I've had the, the pleasure of calling a lot of his matches over the last year or so in the state of Georgia, all across North Georgia. And Del Rey's a guy that is also impressing me quite a lot. And I think that whenever he, just like a lot of the competitors we've seen, gets into that second gear, this guy can be unstoppable. But man, the blue collar rock star especially since coming into the singles division, has been just on fire here in Georgia. out of his head scissors is Del Rey, but having a hard time. I don't press. Del Rey, as I said, somebody who's impressed me quite a lot. If he can connect with that Viva Del Rey powerbomb, that could be all she wrote. That was the case whenever he met against Matt Mercer at SSP The Show for that little exhibition, that introduction to the Savage 16, showing everybody what we can expect. And if that was any indication, we have got a hell of a lot of good left to come still in this tournament. Excellent point that I want to bring up there about that pressure. These round robin tournaments completely different from single elimination. Not only do you have your opponent scouting in the back, but you have the, it's the point system. Those point starts racking up. We have seven rounds here. Once you get three or four rounds deep, if you haven't picked up one of those three point victories, you could mathematically, math, excuse me, easy for me to say, mathematically be completely eliminated from the entire the tournament. At that point, you have to decide, okay, I'm not going to win, so I need to find a new reason to fight. Now, I think for a lot of people, it's going to be they don't want to be down in that bottom two because then they risk elimination from SSP entirely. Folks, 
both legs as Aaron Dallas with just the two counts. Well, and Aaron Dallas definitely putting a lot on the line tonight as, as, as we talked about. Already a regular in Southern States Pro has been there since the beginning. And if he finds himself in that bottom spot, that could be bad news for Aaron Dallas. Chris Del Rey looking to get his first victory in the tournament, but. but not even a one count. Dallas is fired up, man. You alluded to that, our SSP champion, Danny Briggs, the first and inaugural SSP champion. And if you can get through this tournament, you very well if you can get through this tournament, you can win the whole damn thing. You very well could have an opportunity at Danny Briggs, maybe even Aaron Dallas yourself. Great DDT there from Del Rey. Saw planting the head of Dallas right against the center of the mat. Goes for the cover, but once again, we talked about it all night. That weight distribution, I don't think he had quite enough of it there. Drop kick from Del Rey looks to have rocked Aaron Dallas, and we are creeping up on that 10 minute time limit. That springboard moonsault, but Dallas getting the knees up. Stacks him up with the cover. Both legs are hooked, but just a two count, says the official Daryl Hall. That is Chris Del Rey. That's what he wants. He's going in, but wanted to splash to set it up, but Del Rey out of the way just in time. Two minutes left on the clock. These guys have got to kick it into high gear now. Because if we get, yeah, yeah, if we get a draw, we've only got one point. And that puts you, I mean, yes, it is points in the bank, but that is a disadvantage. Everybody else has got three. Goes for the cover, but just a two. Get matched at Mattress Firm, sleep at night. Introducing a sports snack for every occasion with refreshing flavors, a smooth texture. Flies in with that European uppercut, but just so slow to get back into position, giving Dallas some time to recover just like that. Gets the back elbow up. Boot up to Dallas from Del Rey. Now Del Rey on the middle rope. 60 seconds to put your opponent away. Can Dallas do it now? No, Del Rey out of it. Del Rey with the cross face. Got 
the roll up, but kicks out. Does Del Rey. Gets the leg up, but can't get it. Still! That's gotta be it. Three points for Aaron Dallas. Now we're going to turn it over to Carmen Michael in the ring with the winner. Absolutely impressive showing here at the Savage 16. Many people have presumed you to be the favorite to win the tournament. And I have to ask, what are your thoughts moving forward here in Long Beach? Whether or not you consider me your favorite, it does not matter. I am in this Savage 16 to prove to every single one of the boys in the back, I'm not a flash in the pan, I'm not another Nightmare Factory maker wrestler. I'm here to lead Southern States Pro into a new level, into a new era, an era of A.A. A. Wrong. Nightmare Factory maker wrestler is my favorite insult I've ever heard in my life. I love that.